be showing you how to do this sweet and simple candy cane design. For the base, I used Krivlin Creamy Pearly White, and it's a really beautiful translucent shimmery color. If you've ever used Krylin's Interferen Silver, it looks identical to that when it's on the skin. And you can smooth it out by swiping your sponge or turning it over and using the back side to blend it all together. I used Krivlin's Creamy Red, and this is a really beautiful, bright, and vibrant red. And using the back of my sponge, the same one that I used to apply the white, I'm just gently putting that on the temple and then carefully blending it out. Not too much though, because you don't want it to look pink. And you can flip your sponge over to the white side to help further blend it. Now it's time to add the candy canes, and you can place them wherever it best fits on the face. Make sure to tilt them at an angle so that they could cross each other. And because it's white over red, you're going to have to do about two coats, maybe even three, so that the pink doesn't show through. If you're in a hurry, you could just have a white background. That way you don't have to worry about any bleeding colors. Your swirls right where the candy canes meet in the center. Make sure to push in on your brush when you're at the curve of the swirl and then pull up at the tips. So push down, pull up, and then go around again to make it a double swirl. For the bow, just do a simple circle and then flare it out on each side and color it in. For the stripes, make sure that you paint them at an angle and make sure that your white underneath is completely dry. That way the colors don't bleed together and make a pink. They don't have to be perfect, just make sure they're all going at the same angle. I decided to add little ribbons coming out from my bow. Uh, in hindsight, I'd leave these out. I think it made it a little too busy, but I'll leave that up to you guys. To help add more interest, I'm adding white teardrops here and there to the design. Wherever the swirls meet, I'm placing a cluster of teardrops. Make sure the tips of the teardrops point directly into where the swirls meet. Continue going around your design and add teardrops wherever there's empty spaces and you think they would look good. For another cute effect, I decided to put dots inside of my double swirls. Start with the largest dot in the center of your swirl and then work out from there getting smaller as you go. Now it's time to outline and I decided to go with a really thin outline because I didn't want it to overpower the design. So using a number one brush and Krivlin Black, I went along the bow and the ribbons and very carefully outlined using only the very tip of my brush. Remember what is in front and what's in back when you outline. So here I'm making sure to outline my ribbons in a way where I feel they would be overlapping each other. Carefully outline the candy canes. And don't forget to add your highlights to the bow. It'll help it to pop out and give it more dimension. So using a really thin brush again, just put some small highlights here and there. If you regularly watch my videos, you'll know that I love adding starbursts to all my designs. I feel like a little girl's design just isn't complete without them. It makes it look like they're magical and sparkling. So I'm gonna add some starbursts in pairs and some alone, making sure that I vary the size. Finally, add body glue to your starburst and the center of your bow. Make sure it's dry. And add some pretty rhinestones, a red one for the bow and different sized clear ones for your starbursts. And that's it, you're done. If you'd like, you can check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, along with all the products I used and where you can buy them. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you again soon in another tutorial.